Hello friends, welcome to the Word of Podcast, the place where we receive a daily dose of God's Word. Hope you've been blessed by the previous episodes. Are you ready for today's Word? Let's get right into it. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 6, the NLT. But when you pray, go away, shut the door behind you and pray to your Father in private. Then your Father, who sees everything, will reward you. Prayer is the one thing in Christianity that people try to substitute with other things, but it doesn't suffice. Nothing can take the place of prayer. I hear people say, I listen to Christian music. Well, that's fun, but it ain't prayer. Life without prayer is like a petrol car without fuel or an electric car without charge. Prayer is the life wire of a Christian. And Jesus clearly demonstrated that to us during his stay on earth. One time, after Jesus healed all manner of diseases among the multitudes, the Bible records that he rose up the next day while it was still dark to pray. That got me thinking. I would have personally wanted to celebrate the victory of a successful crusade with my disciples, but Jesus was trying to show us that the life of a Christian is like the phone we carry about. If there is no charge, the phone is useless. Have you noticed that with frequent use, the battery goes out faster and you need to charge even more frequently? Whether you use it or not, the battery will go out. Power is expended. When the woman with the issue of blood touched Jesus, he said, Charge has just left me. He felt a sudden outflow of power from his spirit and said someone touched him. You cannot possibly give what you don't have. If there is no power, you cannot give it. But the good news is, if you are a child of God, you've got the access to charge freely. Your level of charge is dependent on you, how much you're willing to plug in and stay. The verse of the day says, when you pray, not if you pray. This shows that it is not conditional. Prayer shouldn't be the last thing we plan to do, but it should be prioritized as important if indeed we are in love with Jesus as we claim. In simple terms, what is prayer? I define prayer to be dialogue with God the Father through His Son Jesus Christ by the help of the Holy Spirit. The ministry of these three have to be present for the equation of prayer to be balanced. It has to be made to the living God, Yahweh, in the name that he has endorsed above every other name, Jesus Christ, and by the help of the Holy Spirit so that we can pray his will. Prayer is not all about making requests. It is fundamental to our relationship with the Father just as communication is paramount to building a successful relationship with our earthly friends. You realize that the more you communicate with anyone, be it a sibling, parent, or colleague, the more familiar you are with the voice. If you have an uncle that you only call once a year when it's time to ask for money, would you consider that you have a relationship? I bet whenever he sees your call coming in, he may decide even not to take it because he knows you're going to ask for something. As humans seek genuine mutual relationship, so God is seeking genuine mutual relationship too. He says, God is seeking those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. True friends. He said in Isaiah 1.18, Come, let us reason together. Can you imagine that? Let us have a -a tete-a-tete. Let us have a chit-chat. I remember when I first met the lady who is now my wife, everyone knew that I had found love as I called her every time I had the chance on the road, at work. My colleagues even knew her without having met her. I would get home and we would still keep talking. That's the attitude we ought to display if we're in love with Jesus, nothing less. Pray without ceasing. You're constantly in conversation with him. So in the space of two months, I knew the voice of my wife. And I remember clearly one day my brother, who sounds very much like me, picked up the phone when she called and said he was me. But she knew it and said, no, you're not Matthew. I know his voice. That came from a place of constant communication. Write this down. 
The key to knowing the voice of God is to be in constant fellowship with him. I mean constant love fellowship. Even when you don't ask in a love relationship, your needs are met. Through this, most of the things we're asking and asking for and it seems like we're not getting, God would do more for you if you just love upon him. The verse continues to say, shut the door behind you and pray to your father in private. He wants some alone time with you. He wants to show you what you don't know. He needs your attention. He says in Jeremiah, call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. The verse ended by saying, he will reward you. There's no second spent with God that is wasted. Every single fraction of time you invest with the Almighty God is for your good and you will soon see the reward. As you know Him more, you discover more of yourself. I'd like to ask you a few questions before I leave you today. When was the last time you had quality time with God? Just loving up on Him. And are you in a parasitic or mutual relationship with God? Let us pray. Dear Father, we just want to thank you for who you are. We just want to love you. You're a good God. You're faithful. You're loving. You're wonderful. There is none like you. We declare that you are God and God alone. Besides you, there is none other. You speak and it comes to be. You are the almighty God. Thank you for all you have done for us. Thank you for health in our bones. Thank you for soundness in our minds. Thank you for the food we eat, the air we breathe. Thank you for the water we drink. Thank you for giving us your spirit. Thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus. Lord, we just want to thank you. Dear Father, help us, Lord, to be in a true love relationship with you. Help us, Lord, not to be parasites with you, but to be in a mutual relationship with you. Help us to go back to our first love and love you the way we loved you at first. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for coming to the podcast today. It's always a great pleasure to have you in here. See you again tomorrow. God bless you and bye-bye.